So let's launch this um, in our browser and actually go in and actually submit. So we should get two set of errors for each field now if I submit leaving everything empty because the length and the field is empty. So as you can see first name, say you can your first name cannot be empty, first name must be at least two characters long, likewise for last name, email, say can't be empty, six characters. Password must be empty, password must be at least eight characters long. So let me go ahead and actually put in a letter just to make sure that none of the fields are empty. So we'll put in S and we'll put in D here and the password will just type in something short. We submit. So now what we should expect is the first set of validation errors to disappear, but the last set which is checking lengths must still be there now. So we'll submit. As you can see, the first set has disappeared. So now if I go ahead and actually type in something which is long, like Lamin, and last name which is Sane and email which is lamin.sane and password let's say my password let's make the password actually short so let's say my p and then submit that so you can see all the errors have disappeared for all these fields but the password field says password must be at least eight characters long so now let's make sure the password passes validation so we'll say my password for this case, we should get a um, nice message saying that everything is gone through. So we'll say submit. Yay. So now we've passed our validation. So there we have it, guys. Um, I try to make this as short as possible. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please rate and comment below. And let me know if you need any more tutorials being done. And this I shall follow this course with an even more advanced um, validation tutorial which will dive in um, PHP object-oriented programming. And um, thanks for watching. I'll probably see you in the next video. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.